Hi, it's Yolanda from the Imperfect Mom Life and I just wanted to stop by today to show you guys how I made these cute little personalized baby boxes over the last couple of months or maybe a month or so I've been invited to a couple of baby showers so I decided to make personalized boxes and make personalized items to put inside this is one of the items that's going to go inside this box so I'm going to show you guys how I made the box and uh let you see the final project when i'm done bye okay welcome to design space so i am going to show you guys how i put the image on the personalized baby box that i created for the baby shower that i attended so what i wanted to do was find um a scallop circle that i was looking for um and how i looked for that is i went into image and it's already typed in um, scallop circle and what I did was scroll down to look for the image that I was interested in and I found that pink one which worked pretty good well well it wasn't pink when I found it, it was a different color when I found it but I turned it into pink so all you do is just search for the image that you're looking for and once you have it um, you want to, I'm just gonna believe this was the one that I selected. And then as you can see, it shows up down here. And what you wanna do is click insert image and it'll your image will come up that you're looking for. So I already have this pink one here that I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna delete this. Um, I have it sized to the size that I need. Um, also, what I did beforehand was to look for the lettering that I was interested in. And I came across um, this mahogany script for the letter C for her name. And I just kind of sized it inside the box. I did a select all. And I clicked on a line and I did um, center horizontally. So it centers it in a circle perfectly. This is what I use. Um, I believe I use something a oh, watermelon script is what I use for the, uh, for the name Kyra, Akira. So, um, what I did was for the watermelon script, it doesn't normally come put together. I'll show you guys how it looked um, when I typed it in. So it looks like this. And what I did was I clicked and I wanted to have the letters closer together. So I went into, you can do one or two things. You can do line spacing and then you can ungroup and kind of move the letters together. I'm sorry, you do letter spacing, not line spacing, letter spacing. And what you do is just, you just click the button until you get um, your letters close enough together um, that you're looking for. Um, one other thing that I did, so once they were close enough, I still ungrouped my uh, name and I made this C just a tad bit bigger. And then after I did that, you want to click weld and it'll weld the letters back to, it'll weld the letters together for you. So as you can see, when you look at the pink, you can kind of see the, um, the letters kind of overlapping each other. So when I click on, when I select this, nope, I don't want to select all. So when I, mm, I was already selected. So when I click weld and when you weld it together, it makes it one, um, one word. So I forgot to bring the C together on this, but this is the image that I'm going to end up using here. Just kind of like wanted to show you guys where I found things and how I um, weld letters together. So if you wanted to, if you wasn't ready for this to um, be together, what you can do is click undo. 
and then you can click oh wow so this one isn't working for me all right so i guess our weld is permanent <laughs> all right so what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna clear my canvas off because i have everything that i need and then i'm going to go up in the corner and click make it and then the um the software is going to start putting what I need on the, the corresponding maps. So I'm going to go over to my Cricut Maker and start letting this cut out. So I have sent my vinyl through the Maker to cut out my images. And what I'm going to do now is weed out all of the negative space so you guys can see what it looks like now the reason why i cut the name inside the circle is to kind of save some uh some of my vinyl so what i'm gonna do is probably stick the scissors in and cut around the name so I can um, preserve some of my vinyl. So this is what it looks like. I know it's a little upside down. <laughs> Just flip it around so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So I am going to set this up to put it on the box and I will be back. All right, so what I've done is put the image on the transfer tape. And what I'm gonna do is use my varnish tool to get it sticking really good the transfer tape so when I separate the image from this piece right here it'll stick to the transfer tape which will um, give me easy access to what I'm gonna put um, put my image on which is this box right here so hopefully this, sometimes you have to be careful and like pull it back really carefully so it doesn't rip uh, the vinyl. Okay, so we have our scallop ring that's sticking to the transfer tape. Okay, so I had to position this off camera so I can get it as straight as possible, but not sure if I made it. Um, so what you want to do is make sure everything is laying down flat. I'm going to use your tool to scrape across to make sure everything is in place. And then you lift up your transfer tape. You know I have a couple of places where it didn't quite lay the way I wanted to. So you just kind of take your tool and lay it down as much as possible. Alright, so what I'm going to put on next is the letter C. I'm going to move that to the side, take my transfer tape. You can reuse your transfer tape over and over again. As you can see, mine's a little rolled up. So try to make sure that 
try to put it on here as straight as possible. So when you put it down on your, um, your canvas, you can pretty much straighten it up using the lines. I'm going to turn it over. So I have the C all positioned down with the transfer tape. I'm going to get my tool and kind of rub it across there one good time just to make sure everything stays in place. Then I'm going to pull it back carefully just to ensure that it stays on. And it does. And the next thing that I'm going to put down is the name. And I'm going to put that right across the middle. So this is my final product. Nice, huh? So I made this cute little paper bow to go on top of it. Tomorrow what we're gonna do is run to the store and grab a baby shower card, include it with our gift, and we will be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my video and learning how to make these personalized uh, baby boxes. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments. And as always, do more of what makes you awesome. Have a good one. Bye.